Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit several interesting topics as the sun is giving us a little breather here. An earthquake, galactic violence, planetary geometry, and the magnetic pole shift. But we are starting with a very quiet last 24 hours on our star. No significant solar flares or coronal mass ejections. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions at Earth are quiet. Big filaments, but they are remaining fairly stable at the moment. There are no solar wind disruptions on their way to Earth right now, and while we don't necessarily expect any to happen today, we'll of course be monitoring these sunspots for activity while they are on the Earth-facing half. No bigger spots incoming right now. Top quake of the day, 6.2 that luckily struck offshore near Costa Rica, far enough into the water that the shaking on land does not appear to have produced any significant damage. Up next, astronomers are spotting X-ray flickers from an active galactic nucleus, and while it's too far away to directly visualize, they are guessing that the data indicates that a star got too close to the galactic core and was torn apart. They say they think there's enough data to suggest that they captured the destruction of one star and the beginning of another taking licks right afterwards. Interesting paper up next, a preprint on Research Square, indicating yet another significant identification of planetary geometry and its influence on earthquakes. The study takes the gravity approach, which isn't my favorite, but still allows them to conclude that the combined forces of planetary geometries could exceed the moon's influence on the Earth's interior in some circumstances. Last but not least, folks, I do not know why scientists are so obsessed with sonification these days. Here, they wanted to do it for the model of how Earth's magnetic field flipped long ago. The visualization is pretty cool, I must say, especially with how well they show the chaos in the magnetic field during these excursions. They correctly describe how the magnetic field weakened to only 5% of its normal strength, allowing more cosmic rays to enter the atmosphere, which have been shown to have dramatic consequences for the climate, bodily radiation dose, and more. It's why these events, like the one unfolding now, are so dangerous for life on Earth. Observers who came out to the ranch yesterday, it was great to see you. Our first class on prepping and survival went well, and so did our Q&A afterwards. The next event is technically my birthday party on the 19th, but I will be answering questions and discussing the recent science developments on the magnetic pole shift. It's a working birthday. Link below, and don't forget, conference style returns next month. Been four years since our last one. Come see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.